Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 15th, 2021. Man, it's hard to believe halfway through the month. Well, we had kind of a rough, rough day yesterday with that CPI number coming in at 5.3%. The pre-market tried to bluff everyone once again, suggesting it didn't matter. Um, but obviously, after the gap up open, it certainly did matter. Those sellers came in, pushing back down. The bears were engaged. So let's take a look at how these charts are setting up for today and um, see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market on this Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts. Yesterday was probably just a little bit painful, particularly uh, for those by the by the dip buyers that tried to hop in first thing tomorrow morning, thinking that we were going to get a bounce. And as you can see. Um, we left some technical, whoops, we left some technical damage here in our charts. Let's notice right in here, there's that break of that trend um, and our collapse through price support in the chart. Let's stretch this one out here as well. So we kind of collapse through some price support and unfortunately we have also failed at our 50-day moving average. So yes, yesterday we tried to rally back up toward it. We have now failed through the 50-day moving average. Let's take a look at our short-term averages. The 8 exponential, the 34 EMA, and the 20-day moving average are all starting to push down through that 50-day. That's not a good technical sign for the market. Now, we certainly can still recover. We've seen that before here recently, but I suspect this one might be just a little bit different in that selling. The pressure here in the market seems to be growing in that uncertainty. We also have a confirmed downtrend pattern. So there's a low rally and a low to a new low. So now we have an official downtrend here in the diamonds chart. So you'll want to keep in mind on that as we rally back or if we rally back toward this 50 day moving average, we want to be watching for that resistance level that's really setting up pretty strongly right here in that area. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now our SPY pulling back, um, but really nothing has been terribly damaged here in the SPY yet. Um, obviously, at the end of the day yesterday, we ended up closing just below this trend. So we've had these kind of shocking pullbacks, but we've responded right back higher. And notice that those shocking pullbacks before were just one day, boom, 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 shocking pullbacks. Um, this one is much different. This one is a steady uh, pushback. Um, in the market. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to stay below this area or that we continue to fail. However, I do see this one just a little bit different. Now we have broken some support levels in the chart. That's kind of critical here. We do have additional support in this chart that could catch us right in here. And the reason I'm drawing that out, guys, is that next little level of price support. And that would be because that kind of matches where um, we logically could go, and that is that 50-day moving average test. So kind of keep that in mind. Although we had futures trying to push up overnight, um, we're struggling here just a little bit this morning. In fact, just a few minutes ago, all the futures were green, and now that's not the case. So a little bit of back and forth here again this morning. I suspect um, that 50-day moving average on the SPY will pull really hard on, on that index. And there is that high probability, I think, that we will test that 50-day moving average. Now, from that point, one of the rules that I trade by, guys, is um, when we move too many days in one direction, we can expect some kind of a bounce. And so let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six days down in the SPY. 
my rule is five to seven days in one direction and you can you can usually start looking for some kind of a reversal. So a relief rally guys could be on the way soon, but just don't rule out that possibility that we test this level of support in that 50 day moving average before that occurs. So have some hope, um, get, have some hope that we will catch a bounce. However, there is some data coming our way that could really cause us more, um, angst so watch that carefully let's take a look at the qqq now what's been really remarkable to me is that the big tech that nasdaq has really had almost no pullback here um, it's truly remarkable that we have so many of these uh, stocks in the nasdaq not doing well yet we have just enough of the big tech giants um, hanging in there and holding pretty strongly um, preventing us from falling here in the nasdaq so as we look at this chart we have to still give this one to the bulls the bulls are holding this trend in the nasdaq and um, as we pull back we could find some price support right in this area that little tiny price support area However, we cannot rule out the possibility that if that were to slip, a push down into here is certainly possible. That is the bigger level of price support in the chart. However, with one, two, three, four, five days in a row down, I suspect we're probably getting right into that um, point where we could catch a little bit of a relief rally. So watch for that possibility here soon. Then let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM also lost its 50 day moving average yesterday and we have this downtrend going on here in the chart we broke this price support and now we closed uh, back below that 50 day moving average here another day now of course we can also look at you know that's certainly a higher high in that chart so we could certainly bounce up out of there and we're going to get a number today and we'll talk about that in just a moment a number to today that could help um, IWM hold up. It could also hurt IWM if it were a miss. So let's watch this carefully here. But that failure once again under the 50 day moving average and closing the day. Well, at the low point of the day, we were less than a half of 1% to the 200 day moving average at the low a day yesterday. So watch that carefully. I think there is the possibility notice that our 50-day moving average is moving lower i think the evidence is starting to show here that we could have the death cross here soon in the iwm and that is that 50-day crossing down below the 200-day moving average which um, would signal some bearishness potentially coming so watch that closely a little early to try to say that or even predict that but i think that possibility does exist so you'll want to kind of keep an eye on that let's take a look at our vix i was kind of surprised yesterday that our vix um really didn't respond um uh, rather remarkable um let's take a quick look at that as you can see we had we ended up on the day with just kind of this spinning top uh, long-legged doji here in that um in that price action um with a sell-off of nearly 300 points in the dow we would normally expect that to be higher so what does that mean well it means that there really isn't a whole lot of fear here in the market although we are continuing to be elevated and we're very near that 20 handle in the chart fear didn't really play a part of it yesterday um, as you notice the selling was relatively controlled there was no panic in that selling now also keep in mind that we have this big long downtrend here in this um, chart and that I, I keep saying that if we pop above that 20 handle and hold that could be a major problem for us but so far that 20 area has been able to hold that down so if we can find some inspiration for the bulls or if we happen to get 
um, that, you know, multi-day down bringing in a little bit of relief to the market, then watch for this to kind of pull back a little bit. However, I'm not sure we're out of the woods here, uh, particularly with some of the numbers coming our way. So don't be too surprised if this pulls back that we could find a higher low um, in the VIX. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And notice we had that little bit of a whipsaw in here um, the last couple of days with that bounce back up. But I think with the SPY kind of hovering above its 50 day moving average and noticing that we have not reached an oversold condition yet in our T2122, there is that possibility that we could experience a little bit more pulling back here today. So don't rule out that possibility um, that that could um, occur today just to test that 50 day moving average in the SPY. That's gonna be a pretty heavy pull maybe on that SPY. So watch that closely. But the good news is, is that we are reaching this short term oversold condition. Um, so if we can reach that level, even touching right down in here, um, if we can reach that level, those are those. Uh, that's that place where I look for some kind of a relief rally, um, some kind of bounce to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. That possibility does exist uh, today um, uh, if we can find that inspiration. So watch for that um, in the charts. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, guys, I got to tell you, this is not a good sign. And this is showing some major problems um, here in our market. Um, even in the NASDAQ, there are a significant number of stocks that are below their 200 day moving average. We are getting kind of a false reading with the QQQ index because we have um, seven to nine companies holding up and lifting or holding the entire uh, NASDAQ average up. While at the same time, we're seeing an awful lot of stocks continuing to drift back below their 200 day moving average. So right now, as of this morning, 43%, only 43% of all the stocks in the market are above their 200 day moving average. That's not a good sign here for us. And we continue to set new lows here. Now, one thing I would say is this is kind of reaching an oversold condition and we should catch some kind of a relief rally here soon if we can get some of those news reports to kind of come our way on the bullish side. So watch that carefully. Not good here um, seeing so many stocks below their 200 day. Then let's take a look at our T2101, our absolute market breadth. As I mentioned yesterday, or, or mentioned just a, a, a moment before, that um, we didn't see a major spike in fear on the selling yesterday. And that is echoed here in the absolute market breadth. We didn't see on that selling wave a big spike in market breadth. So that gives us that little bit of encouragement that we may be reaching that, um, that bounce place, that relief rally place here soon. So we didn't get that big spike that we would normally uh, be, or would normally be associated with a, uh, a fear move in the market. Not really fearful here. So keep a close eye on that. I think we are potentially, um, and getting closer to a relief rally here in the market. Now, having said that, we have to look at our economic calendar because we do have some things here that could create some significant problems for us um, as we move forward. First off today, let's take a look. We have Empire State Manufacturing here at 8.30. We've got import export prices. These can definitely move the market if they're big misses, but most of the time, the market kind of you know shrugs them off, not too worried about it. However, we do have an industrial production number today. And industrial production, the consensus is suggesting that it declines today. 
Now, if it does decline and comes in near the estimate, we should be okay. The market will kind of breathe a sigh of relief and we may actually catch that little bit of a bounce here um, in um, the market. However, we do run that risk. We've been noticing quite a few misses and if we were to catch another miss here in industrial production, if it comes in substantially less than what we would expect or what's expected, that could add to that bearish pressure. So watch that carefully there if it were to happen to miss. Um, keep a close eye here also. This could be the help, the a good helper for the Russell, um, the IWM, if the petroleum status number continues to come in showing declines in supplies, that could certainly help IWM as those oil sector stocks gain a little buoyancy and could lift off of that. That will help IWM if that number comes in as a negative number. If it comes in as a positive number, it could have the opposite effect, um, adding additional pressure to that oil sector. So watch that closely and carefully here today. Now, this is really, really important, guys. Um, as we get through today, we could experience some kind of a little relief bounce here, but I want you to be thinking very carefully about how much risk you take in the market because tomorrow morning, we're gonna get jobless claims, Philly Fed, and probably the Mac Daddy of the day, that retail sales. And we just saw over in China, retail sales taking a huge mess over in China, creating some pretty substantial selling um, over there last night. So watch this closely, guys. Um, retail sales could be a big deal tomorrow. And we'll want to be thinking about that. Even if we do catch a bounce rally, what the implications of this might be tomorrow morning. And unfortunately, they come in, notice they come in, all come in before the market opens, so there won't be much you can do about it. Watch carefully for that um, and plan your risk carefully heading into that number. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is pretty darn light today. Um, we don't have much going on, so I'm not going to spend uh, much time with this. If you guys want to catch the, um, the notables, um, there's only two of them in today's um, uh, blog. Click that link just below the title of the video. Um, go take a look at those. Um, not exactly the kind of things that will move the market around much today. So you might want to check those out, but um, just kind of keep in mind not a big deal for today. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? And I gotta tell you guys, it's really, really difficult to recommend too many stocks here to you um, with the market acting this way. Um, we're a little bit oversold um, to the downside, so it's hard to pick up a short. And we're a little bit, um, um, a little bit difficult to pick up long trades while the market is still trending lower. We need to see that little bit of relief. And with that data coming our way, it's kind of a difficult market to uh, be trading in. But let's take a look at a couple things. Um, Philip Morris. Philip Morris had a little pullback yesterday. It was drawn into the selling here. Um, and it, it may have had, there was a downgrade here in um, Altria, really clocked it hard yesterday, uh, popped it hard. Um, Philip Morris still holding in on that trend. This is one of those strong divvy pairs. Might wanna keep an eye on that for that possibility that that could bounce up out of here. Watch that closely. I did see stocks like Clorox yesterday. Um, again, consumer defensive sector, trying to hold those higher lows, trying to push up. Notice we've got a gap in here that could be filled if we could pop push on out. So keep an eye on some of those defensive sector stocks. Also, keep an eye on some of those semiconductor um, stocks. Semiconductors were doing pretty well yesterday in different places. They were um, some small caps, some individual things out there. So keep a close eye on some of those semis. They were holding up pretty well overall. 
Um, I got to tell you, it's a little bit, it's a little bit challenging here in the market, and with the uncertainty of these numbers um, coming on um, later this week, uh, tomorrow and Friday, um, could be a little bit difficult here. So watch those closely. Let's take a look. Um, uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm, I suggested yesterday, might be something to watch. It was one of the semiconductors that got caught up in the selling yesterday, pushing down. So this is continuing to run in this downtrend, holding in on some support, but watch that closely. A um, little bit of a problem going on here, but some of those semis are starting to look pretty good. Take a look at like on semiconductor. Um, that continues to be very, very strong, holding up in there really well. Um, other places that you might want to look um, is maybe um, like CCJ. Um, we're seeing um, uranium really picking up and being extremely strong. Now, I don't know if this is kind of an indication that folks are kind of leaning toward uh, if we're going to electrify the entire company or country with all electric vehicles, we're going to need a lot more power. And maybe this is an, a recognition that we're going to have to go to some nuclear power um, to supply that kind of energy. So take a look at CCJ, um, URA, um, uranium, um, uh, doing very, very well here um, recently in the market. And let's keep an eye on um, like GLD. GLD still not in what I would consider to be a strong buy confidence um, area of the chart. But with the market showing a little bit of, just it's a little spooked, okay? It's trying to hold up here in that chart. Now, I think we need to push up through that 200 day. We need to get that 50 crossing up through that 200 day before we really get excited about GLD. And we still run that possibility that we could fail right here. But keep an eye on some of these. As the market gets a little bit funky, these stocks uh, tend to do a little bit better. So watch that close. So there's a few things for you to look at today. Once again, I wanna caution everyone about being too aggressive in buying here today. Remember, that retail sales number, if it were to miss anywhere close to, to like what happened in China, that could be very um, encouraging to those bears. So watch carefully, trade carefully, trade wisely, everyone today. Remember, one of the, one of the great things about being a trader is we don't have to trade. We can choose to uh, protect our capital rather than put it at risk in markets where we don't feel that there's a whole lot of edge to be had. So kind of keep that in mind. So everyone, I want to wish you all a wonderful day and I also want to wish you a profitable day in the market. Be safe, everyone. Be careful. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.